to understand what's really happening at a, a deeper level, it's maybe helpful to think about the difference between those things like a shiny mirror, uh, something that reflects light using the law of reflection, and something that's more like a plastic ball or the building that we were just talking about at the beginning. And let's just think about a piece of glass. We've all seen glass jars like this. We would consider them shiny and smooth. And in fact, this piece of glass right here is reflecting the light in the room very strongly uh, because there's a thin band of reflection or glare uh, off that piece of glass. But you've all also seen perhaps glass at the beach, some piece of bottle uh, that's been smashed up uh, on, the, on the ocean beach and it's been pummeled around and scratched up over and over again as the waves bring it up against the beach. That's sometimes called beach glass and people make jewelry out of it. Well, it's no different from the glass that's on the left. It's just that it's been roughed up a lot. It's been scratched over and over again. So instead of a nice smooth surface, it's a surface that looks like kind of milky and cloudy. Well, both surfaces are reflecting light because we're allowed to see that glass. It's just that the smooth surface as it's obeying the law of reflection, then light coming in at a single angle all leaves at a single angle. And so only part of this glass is ref reflecting it and giving us a certain glare because only the light that's coming in at exactly the angle such that the light exits toward our eye uh, gives us that glare part of the, of the glass. The rest is transmitting. The beach glass, however, is very rough. And actually the surface is still obeying the law of reflection it's just that the surface isn't very regular anymore. So here it might be a little bump, and even though the light is obeying exactly the law it should, that the angle in equals the angle out, because of the way that the surface is pointing right now, um, that particular light ray is pointing this way, and because the surface is now taking this turn, it's a rough surface, here again the law, is maybe the law of reflection holds angle in equals angle out. It's just that now the surface is turning over, and the, the light is traveling off in a different direction. So a rough surface like this is able to spray or reflect light in a number of different directions, not because the light is coming in at different directions, really, but because it's coming in at different directions with respect to the, the surface area at, the, at a very local level. It's because it's rough. And indeed, if I were uh, to shine my flashlight on this piece of glass versus that piece of glass, it would look very different. This one would glare or, or, or reflect light at back at me at a specific angle. This one would be reflecting light at all different angles. And in fact, the fact that you can see this flashlight here is because this, this chalkboard or this whiteboard right now is not a very smooth thing. If I touch it with my fingers, it's very rough. And so some of the light that's coming from my flashlight is hitting that board and reflecting off over there. If I were to stand over there, I would see the light beam hitting that the, the whiteboard. But some of the light is coming right over to the camera. And again, it's reflecting light in that direction too. I can see the flashlight. And so some of the light is going off into the board and coming right back at me. That means the light is traveling in all different directions. And this is referred to as diffuse reflection, light that's traveling away from the surface or reflected away from the surface in many di different directions is called diffuse reflection. Light that's coming off in exactly the same direction as it entered is called specular reflection. There are other examples of smooth versus shiny surfaces. This photograph might not be the best, but um, if you're the owner of a new iPhone, uh, you might have the shiny back surface. If you had a slightly older iPhone, you might have the rough back surface or the what's called the matte finish uh, surface. And they, they're both the same iPhone. It's just that one, the back surface is much more smooth uh, than, than the matte finish. Some of, some of us have different uh, finish on our laptop screens as well. There's matte finish and, and, and glossy finish there.